Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Today I've got boxing trainer on, Richie Gent. He's currently train training Danny Bull, Ollie Cassidy, uh, Josh Stokes, um, Drag. Well, let's just put like about seven boxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So which boxer do you want to talk about first? Uh, let's talk about, uh, well, who's, who's next out for me? We've got uh, Brad Foster. Um, he's recently joined the gym um, and he's back out on December the 16th. Um, ticking over in a, that's it at the anger, yeah. He's ticking over in a six-rounder um, and then hopefully push on in the new year and uh, see what opportunities are out there, possibly at a new weight as well. So. Because he's um, yeah. lost his two last fights, unfortunately. That's it, yeah. He got beat by Cunningham and then uh, Baluta, um, who got beat by Liam Davis the weekend. So I'll shout out to Liam Davis. Well done on that great win on yeah. Saturday night. Oh, so will this be your first time being in, like, Brad's corner? It will, yeah, it will. So it's the first time we've worked. We've been working together now for a, a few months, I think, I believe. But yeah, about ten weeks. Um, it's going good. Um, such a talented fighter. Um, so yeah, it's been good having him in the gym. So you'll be looking to get him back in this title picture next year. Yes, most definitely. Yeah. Um, it's just this fight. We want just a six round. It's just see how he's uh, he's hand. He had a bad hand in uh, the Baluta fight. So it's just to get him in there six rounder. Um, not a lot of pressure on him. So he can we go have there the opponent. Nothing, not yet. No, we're just waiting to find out. I'll be speaking to the management team um, and chasing that up in the next week or so. But nothing in the pipeline. Oh, so, OK. But it's good that he's staying, he got this six rounder in to get back to winning ways, which should be good. That's it, yeah. That's what it's all about. Get that to win back on, uh, on the record and rebuild and go from there. Out of all the boxers uh, like you train, who's who have you been working with for the longest? Um, Danny Ball. So Danny Danny Ball come over to me uh, when I first took over the pros, um, which was I think I believe about five years ago now. Um, so yeah, Danny Ball was my first ever my first ever lad, and he's still with me now, going strong. Um, we got an English title opportunity in the new year. Uh, I've seen waiting. that. That's it, yeah. We were waiting to find out on uh, on a date. What show will that be, mate? Not sure. Not sure. We went to... Purse bids finished last week, um, but they've come to an agreement one way or other. So I've been told at the moment, and we're just waiting to find out exactly what's going on with that. But it is, should be... Uh, is it Danny be... Um, signed with Frank Warren? No, not no more. He, he was signed to Frank, um, and then he was just pulled away from Frank. We didn't sign anything else until just to see what other options are out there. We've had a few other interests, and we've had some, we've got some options, but uh, we just leave it to BC and BNL at the moment to to get something in place. Yeah, because Danny Bull's doing well at the minute. Because we saw him last time out. I think well, we got a stoppage, didn't he? That's it, yeah, he got a good stoppage win against a durable lad. Yeah, he um, kept knocking him down. That's it, I think he, he, stopped, he dropped him in the second round, third round, um, fifth round, and then he got him out of there in the sixth. But yeah, yeah. He, was, he was in total control. Yeah, he was. And he was also in a good fight with Echo Esuman, even though it didn't go his way. That's it, yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a great fight. Yeah. Um, a few things didn't go well for Danny um, on that night. We had, he had the cut straight away in the first round. Um, but yeah, he, uh, the better man won on the night. That's all, all I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say. But Danny's he's been a different fighter since. Um, he's come back and he's he's been working hard in the gym. He's getting good sparring. And we just uh, can't wait to get this English title in the yeah. gym now. So what month do you think that would be? Any time before March. Okay. Any yeah, any time before March. I'm, I'm hoping uh, end of January or, or February, to be honest. But it's uh, that's out of our hands. What fight do you think Danny's performed his best in so far? Um, I think Danny's first 10, 
title fight was a good performance to say he's never in, it was the first time making world to weight. Um, it was the first 10 round and then he went into the backyard of Casey Benjamin who's proven himself now as a top level British fighter. Um, I do rate Casey a lot and he got the draw that night as he um, in Birmingham. And then, so that was a good performance. Mason Cartwright, when he stopped Mason Cartwright, that was what another about great... Sam Gilly? He did a good Sam performance. Gi- Sam Gilly was a brilliant performance again, to say the inactivity due to COVID. Good fight as well, that one. Yeah, he was. Yeah, it was a great fight. A top lad as well, Sam. Um, he's gone on, moved, stepped up a weight, and now he's English champion. And he's fighting again this Saturday. So a big shout out to Sam as well, to go out there and do the business. Yeah. Do you think Danny was just too tall for him? I think Danny's a lot cleverer than what people think. Um, you watch Danny, and I think you you can actually you think, okay, that's he just looks like an average stand up boxer, but he can tap a bit as well with both hands. He's strong. He does he does things correctly. He's got good technique. Um, you've got to be a good fighter to beat Danny. Um, and Echo's gone out, gone and shown like. That is a, is a level above at the moment. Um, Has Danny gone we, the weight below Echo? Dan, no, no, Danny's still fighting at welterweight. Oh, because I thought Anchway was the English champ, or did he vacate it to fight Echo? He vacated it to fight Echo, yeah. And now the, yeah, the title's vacant, which Anthony Tomlinson is now the opponent for Danny Ball. I thought, doesn't Connor Walker want to get in this title mix? Because he fought Antwi. He does, yeah, but we've dropped Connor Walker down to 10 stone. So he's going to be, he's going to start boxing at, uh, at a new weight. Um, oh. He had a he had a foreign opponent in his last fight and he weighed in 10 stone three. And the lightest he's weighed since he's been professional. And then his next fight, I think it's at 10 two. And then we're bringing him down to 10 stone for hopefully, yeah. Uh, some sort of title. Now he's signed to Wasa. I thought he beat Antwi personally. And me, to be honest, I did as well. Um, it was a close fight, a real good fight. It was a shame that fight was in uh, the start of the year. So I think if it, that fight would have finished this uh, this side of the year, it would have been definitely one of the uh, the title fight contenders of the year. Um, but yeah, it was it was a great performance on Connor on the big stage, a big platform. We was B side. Um, so, Do you think he will get another opportunity to like box on Sky again? Yeah, well, he's signed to. He's just been signed to Wasser Wasserman now, so oh, he'll, so Channel Five, Channel Five, yeah. So hopefully, yeah, he'll be on a Channel Five show, and they've got good connections with DAZN and and Boxer also. So there's no reason why you can't box on another platform. Yeah, um, but it's yeah, just uh, we'll have to see what happens. Yeah. What about um, Drago? Drago, he's Drago. more like, yeah, he's more, he more through like, his he, first three fights. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, there's not many lads out there had three fights and three draws. Hmm. Uh, but who knows boxing will know that if you if you're on that B side, that draw is not normally a draw; it's normally a win. Um, but yeah, he's been in some cracking fights. His first fight, he, he's only a nine stone nine title fighter he's been boxing at his first fight he fought at uh, 10-7 against Paul Cummings, Cummings. And Paul Cummings was just way too big for him and he got the draw um, and then the second fight he definitely he definitely should have won and the third fight he definitely should have won again but what Darrell uh, Dirt did he fight pardon in his second fight for Darrell Dirt that's it yeah yeah which, are they, are uh, they, is there going to be a rematch with any of these Sorry. If I'm honest, a lot of fighters once they've fought know. once they've fought Drago, they don't really want to fight him again. He's got that type of style where he's all action and he's on the front foot and he's technically not brilliant and he'll hopefully admit that, but he's he's got an art of a lion. Um and he just does not stop. His work rate's really, really high. So he's a he's a good fight for, for anyone out there in the ten stone mark. Is he going on the road, would you say? Um, yeah, I'd say he's never the terms. He's going to go on the road. He's going to take his chances. He's getting on a bit now. Um, he's not going to go in there just to be a pushover and just to just to collect the money. He's going to go in there to win. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, 2023 as well for Drago. 
yeah, and hopefully he can cause a few upsets um on the road. Oh yeah, definitely. He, he, and he will as well. He will. Yeah, he'll definitely cause a few upsets. So was he B side for? Because I thought he was A side for his first fight and his third the, fight. The first fight, yeah, he was uh, he was A side against Cummins, and then uh, we had an opportunity then to be fought that Darnell, I think I can't I can't forget who it was now in his second and we we B side for that and moving forward. Once they see a couple of draws on the record, everyone more or less thinks that it's that's the route you're going to go down. But he he is in there to win. What about um Jamie Wright? Because he was one and zero, so it was he's taking these good fight, uh, big fights already, which is which what is what he wants, and he's doing that's, good. Yeah, yeah, he's competitive. He's he's in there to win. Um, he's he can punch a bit as well. So he's he's never in a boring fight. Never, never. If you want to watch entertainment, if you want to see a good four round dust up and you find out Trey goes on the show, you mean you mean for a treat. Is it, would he be going up to? Would he fight in six rounds as well? Yeah, I think you'll see the best in him when he's in, when he's fighting in six to eight rounders, because uh, he's like I said, just his work engine is it's unbelievable. He just does not stop. Um, so once he goes through the eye rounds, I think you're going to see yeah a lot more entertainment coming from Drago. Yeah, let's hope so, and let's hope he gets this win soon. That's it, mate. So, isn't shouldn't Ollie Cassidy? Because I think he's six and zero. Is he? Yeah. Is he looking for like a Midlands? He was telling me. That's, that's it. Yeah, he, he should have done a four rounder um, last week. Unfortunately, they said they can't do the four. He's got to do a. Sorry, he should have done a six rounder. But unfortunately, they said they can't do the six. They've got to do a four. So we went in there and got the job done. Um, come out without a mark on him and next year we really am going to push on with Ollie and get some good couple of six rounders in and and then see what happens and take it from there for a for a Midlands title. At, so at what weight to... would he push for a title at? Super welter. Yes. Yeah, super, be a super welter weight. So so um, all your fighters are around the same weight, so it's good for sparring. So do they spar each other? That's it, yeah, they do spar each other and they make each other work. Um, there's no but Brad's a bantamweight, so is that a bit harder? No, so what you've got with Brad is uh, we've got a few lads, Connolly Jones as well, who can come into it. Drago, who I just mentioned, then he can come into it as well. Um, but yeah, Brad's been going out sparring. Um, he's been getting some rounds. He he done some rounds with Paul Butler the other day. Um, oh, did he? Good. Yeah, it was good. The good, there's good quality rounds. So it's he's going out getting his rounds done before the sixteenth. But yeah, it's all it's good when you've got the lads around the same way because you can you can work on things and then when the time's right, right now you go through the gears, boys, and really push each other to the max, which them them happy to do. Yeah. So next year you you'll you'll be busy in that corner. Are you gonna try and get how much fights do you think Drago uh will get? Because if he goes on the would he take a few home shows as well? Yeah, definitely. I, I, I think if, if I can just think about getting Drago one fight a month, um, I'll be happy happy with that. Drago will probably want to fight every week. <laughs> um, but if I can get one fight a month, I'll be happy. Um, and then looking at it, we've got uh, we've got Josh Stokes as well. Oh, um, yeah. A light, a light heavyweight. He's, he's, having, he's fighting the 22nd of December in a six-rounder. And then we're hoping to push on for a Midlands after that as well. So where's this his time fight now, um, on the twenty second? Uh, it's at the oh, do you know what? Is it at the Anger again? I'm sure it's at the Anger. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's at the Anger again. Oh, it's in, it's on a, a show in Birmingham. Did he fight there. Harry Matthews? He did. Yeah, he fought Harry Matthews um, in a six rounder, not long, no four rounds. So yeah, it was four rounds. <laughs> About was, is he six and oh, is he or he's yeah, six and oh now, Josh. Yeah, so it's going to be a busy year for them all. It is, yeah, it is. This time next year, we're hoping for Danny to have the English ties. Well, I'll say in the summer this time, next in the summer next year, I'm looking for Danny Ball to have the English. You never Brad... know, we might have a British 
that's it. Well, there's no reason why not. You got Brad Foster back in title contention, so it'd be good to have a title for Brad. Yeah. Connor Walker back to the same at ten stone, and Josh Stokes and Ollie with some with a Midlands title each as well. Could, so never, Connor Walker would be around fighting for like an English or a British. Say again, sorry. Would Connor be fighting for like a British or an English? That's that's the plan. He's uh, he's proven himself now. Um, Against Santwi, um, like you say, you thought is you won a lot of. Is the Commonwealth title like better than the British? No, no, I think the British has got more specific. Like, it's the, it's got a lot more history for any boxer. I think if you win the British title, for a lot of local boxers around here, winning a British title is like their world title. Yeah, um, I know. For, if I ever wanted, if I was to have won the British title, I think uh, that would have been a world title for me. So to yeah. go out and three well, it's good just to win your area about that's a good achievement as well. It, yeah, it is. So for these fighters to win a British, it, it means the world. Yeah, and then when you win the British, wait, were you a boxer? I used to box. Yeah, I used to box for Pride Park Amateur Boxing Club, and then I turned professional. And I I only had six professional fights, and then uh, decided that I enjoyed food too much. What was weight. your record? Um, I had six one six. Um, I fought for the international masters title, so they don't do them no more. They do these international title belts back when I was boxing, um, and I fought for that over ten rounds. Um, won that, and then just decided that boxing actually wasn't the route for me. Um, do you think if you continue, do you think you could have, like, I don't know, like, won a British or English? If I'm person, if I if I'm going to be totally honest, I think that I'll, one while I, I think I'd have just felt sh- fell short. Um, there's a lot of things going on uh, in my life, so boxing was great. It was all I had, but then once I started uh, finding work and I had different things and different goals in my life that I wanted to achieve, and I think you've got to really, really, really be like driven in life as a pure boxer and nothing else but boxing to achieve your dreams, which uh, I had a lot of things going on. And I took a backward step from boxing for just for six months. And then that six months turned into 12 years. Hmm. Oh, but did you, were you also, have you coached Danny from like the amateurs? No. So my old amateur boxing coach, Robert Wright, he used to be Danny Ball's amateur co- um, amateur coach, um, and then Robert Wright was one of my uh, was one of my trainers here alongside Danny. Are you like in the new year? Would you like? Are you looking to get any other pro boxer? Wait, do, do you train the amateurs as well, or do you just train with pros? No, I've got my own amateur boxing club as well. So, um, are, are any of them looking to turn pro anytime soon? Um, not not yet, not yet. We haven't long been established as an amateur club, so this season's really the first season where we've, we've really knuckled down as a team and said, right, let's get things on the road and let's get it uh, up and running, um, which so far we've done really well. I think so far this season we've had 14 fights. Um, I think we've had three three losses, I think it is. Um, so you're doing less- well. So we're, we're doing well, yeah. Um so we 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 made it in the right direction, um, yeah. So it's it's all good. And give me a good, give me another three years, and I think that uh, we'll have a few amateur champions in there within the club as well. That's good. And do you? Um, why did you want to be a trainer before I let you go? Um, I think the passion for boxing, um, and I always used to help out when I was professional. When I wasn't in, when I wasn't fighting, I used to help out my coach with some of the amateurs as well. So just to keep my mind ticking over and uh, I, I don't I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have boxing. So it's uh, as soon as I come out of it, I went straight into coaching and the passion for that I found was just as much as seeing Danny Ball win the WBC um, international title against Mason Carter. It was probably one of the best feelings I've ever had out of the sport. It, it, bet, it bet the feeling of when I actually won a title. Um, so the reward... From coaching, he's it's up there, um, so I think that's why. Why I love it, and I went into it so so early. Yeah, and by this time next year, when we do a return interview, 
You'll be having yeah. all your people, like all the people you train with their titles in the background. That's it. I think I'll wear all the belts for you. Hmm. I'll get I'll get it one round my neck. I'll get them everywhere. Next interview. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, mate. Thank you for your time. I've really enjoyed this and keep work, keep making them work hard, mate. Cheers, mate. Keep the interviews up, mate. You smashed it. Well done. Cheers, mate. Bye. Cheers. Uh